In this problem, we're asked to evaluate a limit. It's a limit of a rational function, and we're approaching x equals uh, 2 here. And since there's no little tick on that 2, that means we're coming into 2 from either side. And we're wondering, you know, essentially what function value, if any, does this, uh, does this function approach? And any time I'm dealing with a fraction sort of structure to the, to the function, I uh, gather a little clue here. This is just a clue that doesn't give me necessarily the answer to the problem, but it helps direct me in, in my investigation of uh, the limit. I'm going to just plug in the x value and see what I get out. In the numerator, I'm getting a negative 20. In the denominator, I would get a 4 minus 8 plus 4, which is 0. And now this actually tells me quite a bit. Since the numerator is getting close to a fixed number that's uh, non-zero, negative 20, um, you know, it might be a little more than that or a little, a little less than that, but it's approaching the number negative 20. The denominator is getting close to zero, so I ask myself, what is a number around 20 divided by a number around zero heading for as the number in the denominator gets closer and closer to zero? And I quickly see um, these things are going to get large, very large. Um, so my immediate observation is that I have discovered that there's going to be a vertical asymptote on the graph of this at x equal 2. And we now think about how do you answer the limit question. Um, there are four possible vertical asymptote structures. Um, at x equal 2, the graph could be going something like this, off to positive infinity on both sides. Um, or it could be going off to negative infinity, infinity at both sides. And the other two choices then are that it, one, one side could be going to positive infinity and the other to negative infinity. And depending on which of these outcomes is the, uh, is the correct one, I, I would answer the limit question differently. If both sides are heading off towards positive infinity, then I would write that the limit is positive infinity. Now, technically, the, the limit is not a value if it's running off to positive infinity, but this, this sends back to the, to the reader a bit of information. It tells you that it's a vertical asymptote of this type. If both sides are going off to negative infinity, then I would list the limit as negative infinity. And if the two sides do not match, then this is what we reserve does not exist for. All right. So I haven't done many calculations here, just the clue gathering, and it tells me that I'm going to have one of these four possible graphs on this function near x equal 2. And so there's really only three possible answers for this limit question, positive infinity, negative infinity, or does not exist. To figure out which of these four, I split this into a left and right calculation. All right. I want to know what the limit as x goes to 2 from the left is, and I want to know what the limit as x goes to 2 from the right is equal to. Both of these are going to come out to be infinite, but which sign on the infinity now will tell me what's going on on the left side, what's going on the right side, and then give me the limiting value. Now, I haven't written these denominators in yet because I prefer the factored form when I'm looking at uh, little details on these signs. I know since there's a 0 down here that one of my factors must be x minus 2. That's uh, the other piece that the clue gives me. If your function is going to, if the denominator is going to 0, when x is getting close to 2, then x minus 2 must be a factor. Once I have one of the factors, finding the other factor turns out to be pretty straightforward. It's just x minus 2 again in this case. All right. So now as x gets close to 2, the numerator, again, is getting close to negative 20. And we can think about what each of these terms is doing. It's getting close to 0 in both cases. They're identical. We could have written this as x minus 2 squared if we wanted to, um, but let's think about them separately. As x gets close to 2 on the left, subtracting 2 will put us close to 0, 
but on the left side. So both of these are small negative numbers, and I can now think about um, you know, the, the size is infinite, but the sign is going to be a negative number divided by a negative number times a negative number, which is negative. So what we've discovered is that on the left side of 2, we need to be going off to negative.